let's set up and do a tumbler. I have a uh, pink tumbler I have to engrave here, but I have one that we can test on. So we're gonna test this one. This is the RA3. It's all magnetic. So this is really cool, watch this. So all these parts fit together. So here's the base plate. It has a base plate extender. If I would need that, we shouldn't need the extender this time. This will fit right on there and I can lock it in. If you look over here on the machine, it's got a spot where it's gonna slide right into. I'm gonna move this down a little bit and this can slide right in here. There's two little holes for it to fit in. All right, so that's in. Next, we're gonna take this top off here. We have our support bottom, which can slide in on these little tracks. And it has a little lock right here. Here is our main part of our chuck. And this is really cool. Watch this, guys. It's got magnetic inserts. So I can put these on and adjust them however I need to do that. So if you wanted to do an internal mount, you could do that with this. Or you can also, you have all of these rubber coated mounts, little grabbers that we can put in all around here. I like that they gave you a little case for it. Okay. And then this is adjustable. Put this on beforehand if we want, and that's not going to be big enough. We're going to have to come up one more. But you see how nice that is. If you've ever had one of the other rotaries, you'd be unscrewing stuff. But see, I don't have to unscrew anything here. down a little <laughs> all right and then all you have to do is slide this in Now, I did forget one important part. We also have to plug it in. And I think the plug's in the back here, so I'm gonna have to unhook this here. Yeah, so the plug's back here with the, with the little X facing up. And then there's a little rubber mini USB right over here plug in right there and now I can now I can slide my rotary back in okay so now we're in the right spot I can bring up my base support here and they do give you a leveling tool so if you want to make sure you're level and there we are we're nice and level and locked in there, and I'm gonna lock in my little wheel here. And then the other things are for a roller. So if you want to use the roller, there's another controller in here. Uh, there's some pins here for doing smaller things like rings, and this is an extension. So you have a cup with a handle, and you need it up higher to keep the handle from hitting. That's when you would use the extension. You can see this box fits nice together and has a little magnetic clip. All right, so that all looks good. All right, all I have to do now is close the lid and we're gonna head over to the computer. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so it was hitting the top of the cup. So make sure you're not hitting the top of your 
chuck. Now you can see it's reading the entire cup. It's using the LiDAR to read it, and it should give us a three-dimensional layout of that. All right, everybody, here we are in Xtool Studio, and I decided to come in and take a look at some other pink tumblers to get an idea to see if they had any settings yet for this new laser. Now, unfortunately, when I got in here, I noticed that they didn't have a whole lot of settings because it's so new, not everything has been tested yet. So I placed my test grid about where I thought it should be, and then I hit the modeling key, which uh, gives you the 3D image of what it scanned when it went down and scanned it. And you can see, you can almost even see where the, your, uh, if you look really close, you can see where the silver bands on the top and bottom of the Yeti would be. And that gives you a pretty good idea where you can place stuff. Now, I do wish they would add a framing function still into this laser. So hopefully they'll maybe do that at some point because even though you get this real nice 3D image, it would be nice to be able to go over to the laser like we do on the S ones, hit a button and just let the laser draw a quick frame so you can see exactly where it's starting and where your engraving is supposed to be. Uh, so I am hoping that they do add that because I think it's a nice feature, especially when you're doing things like, like tumblers and things. Now here's another really cool feature. It has a live view camera. It actually has two, so you can pick two different views. Here's the other view. Unfortunately for the tumbler, you can see it's more, this camera's more in the middle of the bed, so you can't really see it. I have to use the side uh, view to see what's going on, but I can see the, you know, everything that's going on there and see that it's working. But I do think that's a, a nice feature that we have a live view camera in there. So after doing the first test, which I did a power from 40 to 70 range and a speed from 75 to 200, I wasn't happy with any of those results. I felt it was over burning the cup. And I also did it at the lines per centimeter of, I think it was 160 and I didn't like it. It wasn't enough. I generally like high lines per centimeter. I think it gives you a much more even removal of the powder coat. Even when I do this on S1s, I use a setting that uses 300 lines per centimeter. It takes me a while, but I get absolutely beautiful cups. So I ran a second set and I came out with the results I was looking for. The second set came out really well. And the second time I did a speed from 100 to 400 and I did a power setting of 30 all the way up to 60 and the very best results that I got were at 300 lines per centimeter at 400 speed anywhere between 55 and 60 both looked great to me on the power so that's what I'm going to use for this pink tumbler. Now, the pink tumbler I have to do is actually a little bit darker pink, but hopefully it will be just fine. But these settings look exactly what I like to see my tumblers look like. And I could just tell from having done so many before that the lower speed settings, they just weren't enough and we weren't removing enough of this powder coat. And I'll give you a, a picture of what those settings look like. So here's a couple close-up shots of the cup. I thought the whole top row of the 400 speed looked pretty good, but the very two best I thought were between 55 or 60 power. Wow, is my design getting dangerously close to the Yeti sign? I think we're going to be okay, but man, is it going to be close. I do think X-Tool needs to do a framing button. would be big time helpful on doing tumblers on the P3. The 3D modeling is cool, but it doesn't help you with avoiding certain things. You, it's really tough to tell where the powder coating starts, where the metal hits. 
a photograph would be really key, but I don't think it can take a picture there. So a framing option would be a big time bonus. We need framing. Well, unfortunately, we had a total failure here. I don't know what's going on. There seems to be a problem with Xtool Studio. So here is the 3D model, and it looks perfect. This is the image. I just kind of took a quick picture of it, and everything was fine. And then let me show you what I ended up with. Here's the finished engraving. And if you look at the middle and at the bottom, it dropped all the text to the wrong spots. It just all went down. Now, a person told me they thought, oh, your, your uh, rotator must have shifted. I saw no shifting. There was nothing wrong with anything. But just to be sure, I checked again today, did another engraving, and it didn't even get like five minutes into it and was completely off and shifted to the wrong spot. I'm trying that logo again. Someone told me, oh, it looks like it slipped. You can see this is not slipped. It is perfectly mounted. I did some measuring marks since we had destroyed this Yeti anyway. I decided I would use it to see some measurements to get some ideas to where I can place things. I'm gonna shut this off. And you can see it has again completely messed up that logo for no reason. I did these marks to get an idea of like, okay, where can I start at? I did calibrate this morning. I calibrated my rotary. There's a calibration in here so that it knows where it is. I did the calibration on it. Then I did the auto measure where it measures it with the LIDAR. It did all the measurements and still not getting a good result there. As you can see, that is, that is not good. It should not be doing that. I don't suspect it's anything wrong with my graphic. I've used this before. It's a SVG. I've done in other retirements for the Office of Inspector General, and I don't get this situation going on here. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. My suspicion is there's something wrong with the software for doing uh, tumblers on this rotary. Just curious if anyone else is uh, running into this, so let me know. All right, just to confirm everything, I did go to my S1. This is my 20 watt S1. I'm still using the same rotor. So this is the RA3, the new rotor. And you can see we have a perfect badge going on there so far. Nothing's dropped off. Nothing's not joining up properly. So it's definitely, I don't think it's slippage in any way, shape or form, because this looks like it's going to be perfect. I'll show you it when it's done. And in case any of you are wondering, the S1s are absolutely fantastic for tumblers. In fact, they're my favorite thing to do tumblers on, even though I just got the P3. So we'll see what happens in the future if the P3 ends up being my favorite. But I have to go out and buy another pink tumbler today because the one that I had for the retirement is ruined. You know, that's part of engraving. These things happen. You get new machines. Sometimes there's some quirks with them. You know, this one's brand new and there's going to be some things with the software and things that probably just have to be worked out and found out and corrected. But these things happen, you know, and that's one good thing about Xtool. I can say, as you can see, I got Xtool machine, Xtool machine, Xtool machine, Xtool machine. They've always been really good at correcting things pretty fast, especially when it was like software issues. But from what I'm seeing here, this doesn't seem to be an issue at all with the RA3, which so far I love. Like it did such a nice job of easily hooking up this tumbler. It seems to be an issue with the software. It does say beta, so I will say that. It says it's, it does say it's beta software. I just, I thought I was okay because I think I showed you guys this. I did a, I did one, I did this one on, on the P3. 
I'm not sure why this one worked fine. And then the next one I did exactly the same way. You can see I'm just running into constant problems now trying to do a tumbler on the uh, on the P3. But I'm sure we'll get it fixed. But that's my update for now. This is crazy, guys. Look at this. <laughs> it's getting all of the words backwards. What is going on with this thing? So now I'm thinking this is a problem with Studio, with Xtool Studio. So I'm using my S1. I'm using the RA3, but I'm using Xtool Studio software. And you can see it completely got all the words. Everything's in the right place, but it's backwards. I seriously don't know what's going on here. All right, so I'm gonna do one more test. I'm gonna go back to regular Xtool Creative Space and and do one more of these and just check it and make sure that's the problem. But this is really strange stuff going on here with this Xtool Studio. I'm just wondering, if it, am I the only one running into this or is anybody else running into this? Because I have never had my S1 ever do something like this. And you can see it's at least got the design correct, but it literally has all of the, all of the words are completely upside down and wrong. I have never seen this before. Very, very strange. All right, to rule out other problems, I went back to Xtool Creative Space and used that software. And you can see it got everything perfect. But it looks like the problem going on here has to do with Xtool Studio. I'm getting just completely messed up results on this one. On the S1, it inverted all of the letters. They're upside down and backwards. On this one, it just got it wrong. This was on the uh, P3 and it started getting uh, crossing over text with designs. Then I go back to Xtool uh, Creative Space and perfect. No issues whatsoever. And then here's the original one I showed you where it looked like it was doing just fine and then it totally dropped all of the innermost design and text into the wrong spots. And this one was on the P3. I do not know what the problem is. I checked all the firmware. I checked for all the updates. I restarted all my software and computers and I'm gonna give it a shot again. I'm still seem to be having issues, but I'm, I'm gonna, I will try one more time uh, testing on the P3 and see if it's managed to straighten itself out at all. But after that failed, I came over to my S1, opened up Xtool Creative Studio and started getting just bizarre things going on there too. It looked like it was gonna be totally fine. We had this perfect badge and everything in the right space, except for then it inverted all the letters. I, I can't even tell you how that something like that happens. But that's where we're at. If you guys are having any issues like this, I'd love to hear it.